Hey everybody, it's Zimu here. So, I've been requested a number of times to make a number of um, guides and um, I've been kind of focusing on the gameplay, action, interaction kind of stuff. And um, in today's video we're gonna do things differently. We're gonna do a um, fighter guide and pretty much we're gonna cover up a number of things um, about fighter, we're gonna cover up matchups, we're gonna cover up builds, and we're gonna cover up pretty much everything we could <laughs> about fighter. I've played in fighter long enough to be able to um, um, tell the difference, what's good, what's not, what is viable, what is meta, what, you know, you're gonna get countered. So before we get to the video, I want to remind you only 29% of people who are watching my channel have subscribed, the rest didn't, consider press subscribe button. Um, if you want to see broken builds, I'm not really gonna focus too much on guides, but probably I will in a close future just to cover up the main aspects for newer player base and also some veterans may find something useful as well um that's gonna come from my personal perspective because uh you know i i can't you know represent every single player out there everyone got different play style and here i'm gonna only cover uh what i think is right and what i think um you know is wrong <laughs> yeah i hope i explained it right anyway basically here we go fighter this is what you're gonna start with no skills no perks Pretty much, you get to choose number of options there is. Um, let's cover up first thing. Let's cover up build, sprint, and adrenaline rush, uh, or sprint and um, second win. For the most part, it's gonna be you're good to go. This is what you're gonna see. As the first perk, as the very first thing, you get to choose number of options. You get to um, you know decide what you want to go with. I would personally recommend to go with the slave fighter when you start out. So you just either take sword mastery or um, Slayer, you go to your Squire, you equip a couple of weapons, you're gonna have Dagger available when you start out, and uh, basically, boom, here we go, you already do a lot more damage than you should on level 1 in appropriate slot, what are you fucking talking about? Here we go, ah, there we go, so, this is the build that you can go, you know, when you start the game out on a fighter, but, um, we're not really going to be focusing on a new player guide, we're going to be focusing more on more advanced aspects of fighter. Speaking of a build, there is a number of builds that you can come up on a fighter. Let's go cover up your perks and skills. One of the most popular, most common and most effective builds is the plate fighter build. It's basically, it works the way it sounds. You're not going to be extremely fast, but you're going to be strong and uh, pretty much uh, you're going to be kind of overpowered. This is the perks that you will roll with. It's gonna be the where the fuck is weapon mastery? Oh, here we go. Weapon mastery, defense mastery, swift, sword mastery. And that's in case we're gonna have a sword. If you're not gonna have a sword, if you're gonna have something else, well, you get to choose the option that will suit your needs. I go from you know for combat attack most of the time because it's just gonna increase the damage on the every consecutive hit, uh, cons consecutive, consecutive, consecutive hit, and uh, <laughs> sorry, yeah. It's gonna be like that, and um, yeah, basically each each second, every second, every third attack, you're gonna do additional physical damage bonus. So it's not bad, definitely. It's gonna sometimes give you a kill that you wouldn't be able to make otherwise, especially if you're using a weapon that hits hard. But the weapons, there is really not that weapons. That there is not really not that many options right now. Mm, we can go. We can first thing first. This is what we're gonna do. Let's cover up the builds that will help you level up to get to the point where you actually get to decide um, what meta you want to play with. Right now, the meta has kind of changed, and you get to play with per dish. But um, but it's not really the main weapon of a fighter, but it's definitely good. When you start out, you're gonna roll. I would recommend personally to roll with arming sword and Castilian until you get like level twenty, until you get some stuff, until you get to sell something. Then you can slowly switch up and upgrade your kit to be able um, to be kind of a PDR guy. Uh, with a PDR guy, you will be able to counter majority of classes and you will be able to stat check. Once you will figure out, uh, once you will know for sure that you have more stats than the opponent you're going to be fighting with, that's where you get to practice and that's where you get to learn new aspects. If you want to do something risky, well, you can go ahead and check the lore out, the homie is playing with the Slayer build, he is goaded at it, it's currently not in meta, Slayer Fighter is extremely risky to play with, and it's pretty much gonna get stat checked by a lot of things, and every played fighter will be able to stat check um, Slayer, 
and um, the rogues will be able to um, cut you out from the end with a couple of hits. So even though the uh, lore is really successful as a Slayer Fighter, it's uh, still not the ideal class, I mean, or build to play. So Slayer Fighter, I will completely not recommend. If anything, I think the Slayer Fighter is kind of dead. You might as well just play on a Ranger and um, or other class. Like If there is one build that I would recommend when it comes to playing on a Fighter, that's going to be the Blade Fighter. Blade Fighter is pretty much the OG, the meta, the way the fighter was meant to be played when you're running out. You know, right now the Blade Fighter is actually going to be relatively fast. I'm going to show you a quick example. I could throw some more or less budget gear that you get to see the stats. You're still going to be fairly fast, fairly strong and uh, have a decent chunk of attributes. I'm not going to throw anything crazy I'm just, uh, you know, some budget more or less gear that i come across gear plate plate is always good and then we're gonna find fine curious always good and maybe um yeah this is just not a cloak for the fighter we, and let's throw a couple of rings i like to roll with green smiles i have a bunch of those mm, here we go so here we have 54 pdr 166 cells we have th almost 300 move speed when you have a 300 move speed plate fighter well that's when you know you did something right and um you're pretty strong and basically with this kind of stats you will be able to ro roll around and fight players um you will be able to kill number of uh, other classes and here i'm actually gonna show and explain what classes you will be able to counter as a fighter let's go to create um character right here character um so this is what you have as a fighter you pretty much your main counters and the main counters is going to be three classes in particular. One is going to be a wizard. Very well, basically, the wizard will counter you, and because he's just going to throw fireballs at you, zap you a couple of times. If you're running plate, you're probably not going to be overly fast and you will die. That's why you want to kind of stay away from wizards. If you want to challenge yourself and go fight and put yourself in his disadvantage, you just go and fight wizards. I do that all the time because, well, I just like to. Uh, risk <laughs> risk it for the biscuit usually when you fight withers you don't get biscuit you just risk your life and that's basically the outcome for the most part speaking of a warlock is it really a counter warlock kind of got nerfed out warlock kind of got gutted but there is still a number of builds that are still pretty good is it a direct counter to a fighter i wouldn't necessarily say so that warlock is the direct direct counter but caster lock possess a lot of threat demon lock will have a lot of health and stats and basically, um, the Warlock could possess a lot of threat, and um, it used to be the direct counter, but I'm not 100% certain right now because I haven't come across that many um, geared Warlocks. Cleric. Well, Cleric has Smite, Cleric has Divine Protection. Even a half geared uh, Cleric that will push you in a corner with two perks, I mean, with two skills, will just put you in a massive disadvantage. You gotta be careful. The cleric with the judgment will blast you, and if he has a spell book and this amount of knowledge or spell casting, he pretty much can just delete fighters left and right with the lightning strike. This the um, attack animation of a um, lightning strike is pretty easy to um, you know land those hits. So cleric is pretty good. It's um, it's a good class for sure. All right, rogue. Rogue is not necessarily your counter, but you do need to be careful, especially if you're not running in a full plate. Rogue possesses a lot of threat. Rogue can ambush you, and um, if he perfectly executes a triple hit combo, if a rogue is geared enough, he will be able to kill you. And if rogue is not geared enough, but he still do a perfect combo with the right perks, with the right attributes that are focused to kill fighters, you could be in a danger because one, it's going to be pretty hard to get away from them. Mainly due to the fact that um, they will likely gonna have throwables, they will likely to be able to stay at full HP while bleeding you out to death slowly and methodically, so it could be quite dangerous. Okay, Ranger. Is a Ranger a counter to a fighter? I wouldn't necessarily say so, but if you step in a trap, you could die on a fighter, so you have to be careful, you have to be careful with those. No matter what class you are, if you step in a trap, basically your time is limited and I'm not even sure what exactly are you supposed to do and if you step in a trap just accept your death or do your best not to die but for the most part if you step in a trap it means you fucked up and unless you're like really specked out in PDR you're going to die. Unless maybe you're a warlock who has phantom eyes and if you use phantom eyes you're likely to be able to get away just don't step in another trap. 
Druid. Bearform Druid was a Druid who was fully specced into strength, could possess a lot of, um, you know, threat to a fighter. But if you have a bow and you will be able to get away, um, you, you will be able to just shoot that bear form down. But if a bear pushes you down in the, you know, like in a tight space, in a corner where you can't get away from, the uh, bear form will just punch you to death like a Mike Tyson and you will not be able to die. I mean, you will not be able to do anything. You'll just be cornered and you will end up dying. Basically, Druid in a bear form hits as hard as Mike Tyson and um, there's just not that much you can do. You will meet your destiny. You will die. So, and well, here we go. We have a barb. You gotta be careful with barbs, but for the most part, as the plate fighter, you're direct counter. By the way, what the fuck are those spots? I don't see a bottle here. I only see some liquid floating in the air, mid-air. There is no bottle. <laughs> I don't see bottle. But anyway, damn, look at this bomb. But anyway, the barbarian, pretty much as a plate fighter, you're direct counter to barbs, and um, you can literally build your fighter to be a better version of a barb. I have shown um, an example of how you could do so. Basically, you just throw a plate on, you just put a decent amount of move speed with the weapon mastery and bird dish, you become a better version of a barbarian with the bird dish. Because mainly due, due to a number of reasons. One, you have a lot of physical power, you have a better action speed, and you have a lot of PDR. And you will be able to stat check every single barb out there. Even, even if a barb running the reckless hit, unless he directly headshots you. I don't even know, really, honestly. I don't think Barb could really beat a fighter unless he is really lucky, because um, unless you screw up, unless, I know, you do something stupid, it's kind of hard to lose on a fighter to a Barb. Um, it comes from a Barb player who played on a Barb a lot. I, I love playing on a Barb. I think it's a great class. I think Barb is one of the best classes when it comes to play with the budget gear. Okay, so I think I did kind of cover up every single class, and um, I hope I hope that explains a lot. Now let's go and actually build up a couple cats that um, you know gonna represent fighter as is. So there is a variety of builds you can roll with. One of them is going to be Slayer Fighter, but if you want to see the Slayer Fighter content, you should go and check out the lore. He is the Slayer Fighter God. And I'm not really interested in playing on a Slayer Fighter because Plate Fighter is just a better version and you can build up a Slayer Fighter to be as fast as Slayer. And you just gonna have a lot of stats and you're just gonna be as strong as Slayer. So there is no really reason in particular why would you want to roll with Slayer because you're just not gonna have enough stats. The Slayer Fighter is kind of, you know, is an opportunistic build when you just kind of try and risk it for the biscuit but you don't get the biscuit. And you would have to put a lot more risk to actually end up getting that cheese, you know what I mean? So your chances in winning is going to be a lot less. Um, consider all the risks. And if you play on, on a plate fighter, you don't put as much risk, you know what I mean? But I absolutely love the lore and his content. And, um, you know, I love his playstyle. Like, he always commits a lot of risk in his playstyle. And he focuses a lot on entertainment and basically... This is what, you know, you cannot not respect. That's why, you know, we all love uh, the lore. He is a great content creator. So, but I'm not going to be playing on a Slayer Fighter. Um, I may as well do some videos on it, but it's not the ideal option at the moment. And if you want to play on a better Slayer Fighter, I would say play on a Ranger. <laughs> like, legit, is a better Slayer Fighter. Okay, so this is the build that I'm gonna talk about right now. The most iconic, the most common, the most regular plate fighter build that is in the meta. It's the Rondell with the Buckler. The build in particular works extremely well. You're fast. You will be able to stat check fighters who have um, Arming Sword and uh, Falchion. All you need to do is hug them tight and hold left click. Just make sure that you land those hits. For the build, you gotta stack up true damage, and basically, this is what you wanna go with. Stack PDR, action, basically, all the stats that will go towards your health, toward your move speed, toward your action, towards your PDR, are the right stats. And basically, this is what you wanna aim for. There is stats that will help you a lot, but you don't wanna go too much on those. You wanna go a decent amount of strength, decent amount of vigor, decent amount of agility, decent amount of dexterity. Those are the four main stats. Basically, just go like 25, 25, 25, 25, and you're good to go. You don't need to go too much. Just uh, get a decent chunk of stats 
and you're good to go. Aim for around 290 move speed, around 10% action speed, around 55-60 PDR, and you're all set. And um, realistically, even if with the base Rondel um, fighter, which was blue items, the Rondel fighter will possess a lot of threat to majority of the classes. Right now, I'm rocking a more or less a budget kit, so there is not that much um, crazy stuff going on here. I, for example, might as well run a game of two or two, you know, just to see, just to show how well this build really is. We actually might as well do it. But first thing first, I want to cover up another build that currently is really good. And um, that's basically, where is it? <laughs> oh, the regular Bardish and a longsword fighter. So where the fuck is my longsword? I legit cannot find a single longsword. Basically, a fighter with a longsword is just a good fighter. The fighter with the crystal sword is a complete meme. It's not worth it. It's not good. <laughs> Don't listen to anyone who say the crystal sword is good. It's not. I've tested it in my previous video and you get to see it if you're interested. I made it, um, you know, basically when I put the broken end title, I'm, I'm more or less make it as a meme. It's not necessarily true that stuff is broken. Well, it's kind of broken, but... um. It's broken in specific occasions. You can consider this as a clickbait. It's not going to be. It's not going to be a false, you know. But um, I focus on entertainment. I'm not focusing on um, stuff that is not important. And um, the few two metrics that I focus when it comes to my YouTube channel is how long you get to watch my video and um, how many people will click on it. Anyway, let's go back into the builds. Bardish. Now, the Bardish fighter is a legit, extremely broken. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't had that much fun uh, playing with Bardish in a while, because the Bardish fighter is really good built. It's real OP, and then on top of that, you get to use the survival bow. And the survival bow is goddamn awesome. Think of it as a bar who get to use a survival bow, who is also fast and can hit really fast or can regenerate with second wind. That's my friend, is a fighter right now. And since I don't have a fucking longsword, let's go and buy one. Here we go, longsword. Basically, a longsword fighter is the good fighter. Also, not only longsword looks really fucking awesome, it's a really good weapon. I like, I really enjoy playing with a longsword. There is one content creator in particular who is really good at it. It's uh, Ogi Sun. I hope I pronounce his nickname right. If anything, if you want to learn how to parry, check his content out. The homie is uh, very humble and his content is really good. So basically, this is, I would say, my personal favorite long sword um, player um, that uh, I've seen. And if anything, yeah, check him out. So yeah, the long sword is good. It counters other barbs. As the thing is, the fighter counters other barbs, and when you play with the most basic um, build, you will be able to win um, other barbs without really any thought. But with the long sword, you do need to put some thought into it. But since you have a survival bow, you will be able to lay their barbs down before before you got to the fight. The thing is, barb has only one option to play, and that is. Um, to run you down, but since you have stuff that counts, counters barbs directly, there's really not that many options for the barb against um, fighter. So that's why fighter is that good against barbs. Um, yeah, no, Lone Sword is a legit good weapon, and it's one of the belts currently in the game. The Long Sword is especially good in the low tier, mid tier, and it's pretty decent in the high tier. And also, I've made a bunch of videos that I've shown. As a showcase, I'm going to link up a bunch of those right here. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and check them out. Anyway, let's hop in quickly, play a game with this build in particular as a little representation. Hopefully we will get some good kills with it really quick. Pretty much, I'm not going to mercy anyone. I'm just going to run everyone down that I come across to. Because this has to be a good representation and not just, uh, you know the usual way I play the game, pretty much. Oh, fuck me. Oh shit, look at this homie. This guy is super geared, by the way. The guy in front of me looks like he has legendaries. Um, it really looked like he either had a unique crystal sword or like a sovereign build. 
I mean, the Sovereign Craftable, like, I forgot the exact name. I think it's, like, Ghost Sovereign Blade or something like that. Hey, yeah, legit, it would be interesting to go and fight him. Yeah, I hope we come across him. I think he's gonna be really juicy here. All right. 65 PD arm, definitely not bad. I gotta go and find the homie with the blade. I do believe I should be able to tank like four hits, maybe less. But um, we have a survival ball, and survival ball is like, you know, your main weapon that you wanna use. Usually, I would always go to the middle if I want to come across players, so that's where I would go. I've noticed one thing in particular that I haven't really built up my kit properly. It's kind of trash. <laughs> it's kind of tragedy. Horrible necklace, bad cloak, bad helmet, but it's not that deep. It's like I have some good pieces, but uh, the whole kit as is, is bad. <laughs> oh, by the way, it looks like the homie already killed somebody. Sovereign Ghost Blade. I like that. I think his kid is probably gonna be like 30,000. Oh, looks like someone already spawned here. As long as it's not rope, we should be fine. Okay, corpse is going all the way to the right. Let's try to go check down, and if it's not here, we're gonna come back. Okay, mob's dead here as well. Door is open. I would assume also killed the mummy. Oh, we have a player here. Let's use the shrine really quick. That's gonna put us at 70% physical damage reduction. And then we're gonna run him down. Not exactly sure what he's running with. So first thing first. Let's put in some work. One shot. Not bad. Okay. I don't think I did that much damage to him. Okay, that hurt a little. It was a little mistake that I didn't charge up my survival bow. Should have at least tried to put some arrows down. He's not trying to run away, so I assume he is interested in fighting. Oh, I hit him as well. Probably another free hit right here. Yeah. It takes uh, quite a lot of time to actually... Oh fuck, he's going up. It takes some time to pull out the crystal sword, so you can use the rondo to actually bait out the hit, and then, you know, you're good. That didn't hit somehow. That hit. Alright. So he has stunned. I'm gonna wait out cooldown in my sprint. Okay, okay. And we're kind of ahead of him. We have a lot of stats, he doesn't. Maybe a couple more arrows and then we'll fully commit. I want to wait out the sprint. I that hit him a little. Nice. Did I hit him as well? That was a headshot. Full commit and we're good. Couple more hits. GG. Definitely wasn't a bad fight. Alright, I'm gonna pre-use the uh, blue potion for a simple reason that um, I want to make sure that um, I have a way to recover. If someone tried to ambush me, and the um, blue potion definitely gonna be helpful. And we're just gonna... Oh, fuck me. We have a homie here. I cannot risk it. Because um, this homie is way too expensive. His gear set is probably cost two times, so we're just simply gonna double kill him. That's the beauty of the rondo, just double kill. I know, he died in for his. Whether or not he's naked or not, like, um, the rondo dagger build is the most, um... I wouldn't say OG build, but it's like the most iconic build right now. It just works extremely well. Rings plate. We're gonna walk the centipede away slightly. Okay, gotta make sure that I put stuff on. Hmm, nice, we have an elevator, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the whole set really quick. Oh, get open, swallow it down. Oh, Trolls blood. 
Oh shit, I didn't take the helmet. Yeah, let's throw some paws. Okay. I don't necessarily need this surgical, that's okay. Yeah, so far so good. We got a really good kill. And um, yeah, the thing is, his kit in particular is supposed to be my counter. But um, it didn't work out quite well for him. We were able to outplay him. GG. Okay, okay. So there is one thing that I want to mention. There is a three gear scores in the game. And um, if you haven't known that yet, even though I've already explained that number of times, there is uh, 0 to 25. That's going to be the first tier. I mean, 0 to 24, actually. And then from 25 to 124 is going to be the second tier. And then from 125 and above, it's that's where you're going to come across the most geared players. So there are some people that are abusing the low geared um, lobbies, you know, just to farm and uh, just to do some other stuff. Or just to kill new players, something, or just to play. I don't even know why would you even buzz that. Basically, there is gear for you know for you to use. So just throw on a good kit and go fight people who has good gear. So yeah, there is um, two builds that are actually are quite interesting to play with. One in particular is going to be a bar dish, and pretty much I want to quickly showcase you what this build is kind of capable of. Um, I really like Verdish, I would say. It's an um, awesome weapon. And um, basically, yeah, let's quickly throw more or less a budget kit. Something, I mean, realistically, realistically, if you want to make a kit, make it work. And um, at least, at least, you got to throw like some plate on that, you know, will be helpful. Um, throw on some plate, throw on some stuff that is going to be useful. And... Um, that will help you in what you're doing. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna buy a little blue kit. Um, it's gonna be a plate kit. It's gonna be a budget one. We have ten thousand gold, and um, yeah, it shouldn't take too much time. And also, you get to see what items I would prefer, especially when I'm trying to buy something. So here we go. Let's go with um, let's go with apple. Let's check the quality, rare quality, only 40 gold, epic quality, 135 gold. Quite cheap. Um, here we go, we find one piece with max health and resourcefulness. Very cheap, might as well just buy it. No hesitation here. Next piece. Let's get the plate, pants, and plate. I mean, actually, you don't necessarily need plate pants. You might as well get the Brave Hunters. But the Brave Hunters, they cost more, a lot more, and basically it's... Uh, under a question whether or not you want to commit gold or you want to, you know, stay on budget. Play pens, they usually don't go for a lot. For example, epic quality goes only for 200 gold and you can even buy a better quality. Usually, I don't really bother too much with the price tag and uh, I try to aim for a kit first to be more or less around four to 5,000 gold. But if you're in real budget, you can still find something useful. Like, for example, these pair of... Uh, Pants with action speed, they definitely gonna be handy. So yeah, let's buy them. Next thing, fine curious. Fine curious with action. It's actually a lot more pricey. Yeah, but it's okay. The better attributes that you're looking is going to be a max health, but the max health is overly expensive. Agility, fairly cheap. Agility, action speed, yeah, quite expensive. So we're gonna try and get agility for as cheap as possible. Here we go, another piece. Right here we have two pieces. We're gonna look for heavy gauntlets. And uh, basically they usually always are pretty useful, pretty, pretty. So, here we go. 99 gold, one agility, one additional physical damage. Very useful, we buy them. Cloak, we have a lot of those, but since we're trying to buy the whole kit, we might as well just buy whole kit. Vigilant cloak, definitely gonna be handy. Buy the first one, 100 gold right here. Boom, but and um, what about boots? You're looking for lace turned shoe with uh, move speed bonus, they should be around 300 gold. That's gonna be more expensive. Oh, shit, they're actually a lot cheaper than I thought. Um, so yeah, just buy the first piece, boom, but you have it, it's gonna be very useful. If you want to buy a budget um, piece, that's going to be also very effective. Look for bear pendant. Usually you can even find of epic quality with action and true physical. 
And here, holy fuck, there were 300 gold. What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> there were 300 gold this morning before I uploaded that fucking video. Jesus. Anyway, basically this is what we have. And um, Ring of Vitality. Happy quality. 180 gold. Build chip. You can even aim for um, better stats. Like you can just quickly go and buy a um, couple Grim Smileys. They only go for four to 600 gold. Um, and now look at the stats we have. 296 moves. That's a lot. 146 health. That's also a lot. Action speed. Decent. And on top of that, we even have a little bit of additional and we have a little bit of action and the Burdish offers us the damage that we are here for. Overall, it's already a good kit. So we're just gonna throw on... Um, we're probably gonna get a survival bow. We're not gonna um, look for a really good one. We're just gonna buy a decent one. I mean, we already have it, in fact. And we're gonna throw on a little bit of bandages, potions, and we're gonna hop in the game directly. Alright, so we have a completely naked rogue behind this wall. I saw him run away and uh, he just took his dagger out. I hope he's not stupid enough to attack me. If he is, I'll fight him back. Holy fuck, the damage is insane. He stabbed me three times, almost killed me. I would assume his third hit went for a headshot or something. Yeah, that was some fucking crazy ass damage, Jesus Christ. I think the homie was completely naked, but, um, yeah, well, damn it. I'm legit curious what the homie has, how the fuck he did so much damage to me. <laughs> oh shit, the homie has nothing. Holy fuck, the rogue, bro. The power of a rogue, god damn. Mm -hmm. Doors are open here. Oh, we have a guy here. Felon Axe Barb. Well... In theory, he could actually kill me. <laughs> he also have a round shield. The round shield is actually kind of a threat because you can block hits quite easily. I think it would take him five hits to kill me. And if he blocks a couple of attacks, I could be in trouble. Ow. Yeah, let's deal with the mob really quick before we fight this guy. It's like, I want to fight with him with the rival bow, but at the same time, it just feels like not it. I just want to go and fight him with the Bardish. <laughs> That's so weird, the homie just disappeared. Okay, never mind. I passed him. No, my homie's running away. Now he's gonna use Savage Roar, I would assume. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> I fucked up a little. One more hit. Jesus, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, now fighting a guy. Uh, I mean, he did everything right. He waited out and I was uh, too impatient. So he almost ended up killing me. And also, I run a very cheap gear set. So it's okay. The thing is, I fucked up. Big, big time. Like, legit big time. But uh, still, I was able to win the fight, mainly because the build is good. I think I saw someone here. Gotta be a little bit careful. Maybe not. Oh, never mind. Holy fuck. Okay. That's the barb with Grim Smiles. I saw one barb with the Grimmies in the pre lobby, so gotta be a little bit careful. But um, I believe this guy have Achilles Strike plus Blood Exchange, and I don't think he stand a chance with that build against me. Oh shit, he has that. <laughs> oh my god, dog.
If you want to be good with Royal Bow, you gotta start playing with it. But um, I barely play with it. Like, I've seen some people went to my chat and play, and it's like, oh, you're not good with fucking Royal Bow. Dog, I don't even play with Royal Bow. <laughs> play with it fucking once in a lifetime. Like, I've been a rogue main, then I switched up to Barb, and then I just start to play every class. Yeah, GG, by the way. Let's go use the Shrine really quick, come back, and I genuinely do believe that the homie has um, the Grim Smileys. This homie was kind of geared. Alright. Let's see what our friend has. Oh yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Homie with Grim Smiles. Had to be careful with him. This homie was a lot less of a threat compared to the previous one. Um, the Savage Roar Barb was uh, was the shield. Yeah, he got that extra PDR. Not bad. That was actually quite a fairly easy fight. But the thing is, I'm like his counter, so there is no really... You know, I'm just his counter, direct counter. What the fuck did the homie type me, by the way? Gotta check. The homie typed me that there is someone farming ore. And that uh, I'm alone and I can just go and loot. Thing is, I'm already full on loot and I have literally nothing else to take. I'm legit fucking fully cheesed out. You know what? How about we just go and extract, you know what I mean? There's really nothing else to do. And, um, yeah, now we already got some gear. We went in with a super budget Bardish build. And we end up doing pretty good. Okay, okay. So pretty much, I think I kind of want to conclude today's video. So even though I only covered up two builds, there is going to be two more builds, which is one with the longsword and the other one with the lantern shield. And uh, basically, for anyone curious, this is what we ended up getting. A little bit of cheese. There is not that much crazy stuff. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know if you want me to cover... The rest of the fighter build, the one that's going to be um, with the lantern shield, the other one is going to be with the longsword. We have a really good um, longsword content creator. The one that um, I personally enjoy to watch is the um, Ogisan. Um, he like kind of mixes up the action, interaction, and the gameplay. And also, you know, he provides really good um, guides about the longsword. But um, I don't have nor patience nor courage to learn to play how to parry. <laughs> that's <laughs> Part of the reason why I don't really play too much with a longsword. But if you do, yeah, check the Ogusan out. He probably will make a 10 times better longsword guide than I will ever <laughs> do. So, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Pretty much, we're gonna sum it all up here. Let me know if you want me to cover up other classes. It's Timo, and I'll see you in the dungeon. Peace out.